All right, so going back to my channel, you guys. Want to go ahead and do my fall essentials. To be honest, I'm a little bit late with the video. I wanted to do it the first week of October, but then so many things was happening and just like my life was just, you know, everywhere. So I finally had time to film this video for you guys and I had some good products to talk about. To be honest, I did this video last year and I had a bunch of products to talk about also, so I will go ahead and link it up above. But with that being said, let me go ahead and jump right into this video and make sure you like and subscribe before we start. And oh, I almost forgot, make sure you let me know down below your favorite fall products when it comes to makeup because I do love hearing about them so let me know down below um but yeah now we can go ahead and jump right into the video <laughs> all right so honestly I don't know where to start first because I mean I just have random different products um but the first one I do want to talk about is a Dior foundation I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to these products because I've used them a lot on my channel but the Dior foundation you guys know is my absolute favorite um I will say when it comes to the summertime this foundation doesn't really control your oils but around the winter fall time I think it's absolutely perfect so I do recommend this you guys know I use this all the time on my channel so I'm not gonna say too much about this one right here and another one of my favorites is a Path McGrath lab skin fetish foundation in the shade d27 and this foundation you guys I'm not gonna go into too much detail because also I used it a lot on my channel I've said a lot about it so you guys already know how I feel um, but this foundation I think is the best for those who are oily skin in the winter and fall time in the summer not so much because it doesn't really control my oils but in the winter time you guys it stays on the skin really well it doesn't break down it doesn't really get oily at all it just looks really good on the skin and i love this shade because in the summertime i know this shade will be a little bit too light for me um but right now it fits me perfectly and also being quite honest with you guys i don't have money like that to be buying my winter and summer shade just because this foundation y'all already know the price to have two foundations of this like that would be really really crazy so for this i do recommend using this in the winter and fall time so another Another favorite of mine is the Make It Forever blush and I have it in the shade like Y535. I think that's what it's called. I always forget the name of it because when it comes to their products, they only use numbers. I don't know why, but I will put it down below. But this shade, of course, is orange, is tangerine, whatever shade you want to call it. Um, but it just looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. I wear it all the time because it just complements my skin. And every time I wear it, people always ask me like, Chi Chi, what is it you have on your face? It just looks beautiful so it's always this blush right here um and make it forever blushes also are very pigmented and they last all day they don't come off throughout the day so that's another reason why i love them but the price i think was also fair i think it was like 20 something dollars so it's not a bad price at all all right so the next one i do have for you guys is the juvia's place nubia highlighter and honestly you can wear it in the winter the fall the summertime it doesn't matter at all but i feel like when it comes to the fall time we're wearing a lot of gold and like you know burgundy shades and i feel like this shade right here complements those tones so let me give y'all a quick swatch of this but this shade it's a very bronzy golden shade it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin every time I wear it people always ask me like Chi Chi what highlighter is that because it's so intense so just like you know out there and I just absolutely love it and I always wear you guys especially in the winter time just because I wear a lot of gold tones on my skin and it just complements it so that's another one of my favorites Okay, so the next thing I do have for you guys is eyeshadows, and I do have three palettes to talk about. The first one is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions Palette. I bought this like a month or two ago, and I completely forgot I had it in my collection. I'm so upset with myself because when it comes to this eyeshadow palette, I feel like it's like the perfect travel-friendly palette. It has all your dark browns in there, um, your nice crease shades, your also bronzy golden shades in there and a yellow like it's a beautiful palette so i'm kind of mad at myself because i really haven't used this palette like i should have but at the same time you guys i highly recommend it because i use it once or twice it blends really well it's very pigmented it's just a beautiful eyeshadow palette and i do recommend this so that's one of my favorites and the next one i do have for you guys is the natasha denona sunset palette and it's kind of funny because i feel like these two palettes let me show you guys what i mean if i can get it open it's like a very similar version of one another. I feel like this one came out first, of course. So this one came out second and it kind of complements one another. So if you can't afford the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, I do say go ahead and pick this one up because it's a little bit more affordable. But moving on to the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. You guys have seen me use this on my channel a million times at this point. But the shades, you guys, are very pigmented. They blend well absolutely beautiful i love all the tones in here and honestly when it comes to 
Travelin or any palettes out there that I do have in my collection. I feel like all I need is this because it has all the shades I will ever want in an eyeshadow palette. I feel like I should give you guys a little bit of a swatch because I haven't done that yet. Um, but let me give y'all a swatch of the Natasha Denona woo, Sunset Palette. Like it's so, so pigmented, you guys. Let me give you guys a swatch of it. So this is what it looks like. Y'all can see how intense it is. It is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. And let me also swatch a Huda Beauty palette also because I know some people out there are wondering what it looks like. Not gonna lie, this is kind of messy, but at the same time, this is what it looks like. Y'all can see it is very, very pigmented also. Very nice and comparable to the Natasha Denona palettes. I think they're very, very similar, but at the same time, y'all know the price point is a little bit, you know, not a little bit, it's a lot different. Okay, so the last palette I do have for you guys is the Subculture Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm sure you guys already heard about this because of all the controversial things that was happening out there. To be honest, for me personally, I didn't have an issue with this palette. I think it's very pigmented and it blends well. Some shades in here, like one or two, are a little bit hard to work with. But besides that, I had a good time with this palette. So I know some people out there think it's good, some people think it's bad. You just have to go ahead and try it out for yourself. But when it comes to the tones in this palette, I think it's a very fall palette, it's like the dark purples, the blues, the oranges, the yellows, the bronzy shades. I think overall it's a great, great um, fall palette. So go ahead and check it out. But at the same time, like I told you guys, some people think it's good, some people think it's bad. So make sure you try it out for yourself first. And to be fair, let me go ahead and swatch some shades for you guys because I know you guys are wondering what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. And the matte shades, you guys, in this palette, like, it is so intense. Like, I don't know how they came up with this formula, but this is what it looks like, you guys, right here. Like, y'all can see how pigmented the matte shades are. So imagine what it looks like on the eyes. It is just completely crazy to me. Okay, so the last thing I do have for you guys is the lips, of course. And I feel like when it comes to fall makeup, the lips is like my favorite part because I love wearing bold colors in the fall. I love my purples, my reds, my oranges. Like I just, I cannot get enough of it. So before I do jump into that, I do wanna talk about the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I don't know why I can't say that correctly. Lip Sleeping Mask. This mask is so good for the winter time because my lips right now are extra dry and like they're cracking and everything like that. So when you put this on your lips overnight or in the morning, it just helps to soothe it, get rid of all the fine lines and it looks absolutely just like smooth and flawless. So I always tell people about this because when I first saw the price of $20, I was like, that's kind of pricey for like a lip balm basically. But at the same time, I've had this for about a year now and I'm just getting to the bottom of this. So that tells you guys how long this lasts and I do think it's worth the price. So so that's all I want to say about that one. Um, but moving on to the lips itself, I do have two, three, four, five, six, six shades to share with you guys. And I've mentioned them before on my channel. But at the same time, if you're looking for like a good fall, like, you know, lippies, I do recommend these. So the first one I do have is the Fenty Beauty Center Lip Paint in the shade Underdog. And this shade, y'all, it is just fire to me like i love how deep and dark and red the shade is like i've never seen a shade this dark before like even the one i do have on my lips from mac this is not even that dark compared to this shade right here it's just so intense and i'm obsessed with it i know it's limited edition but i do hope she makes it permanent and the next shade i do have is also from fenty and it's their stunning lip paint in the shade unveil i really don't have anything left in here because i completely used it up but at the same time i will give you guys a little swatch like the best i can to be honest because it's completely dried out um but this is what it looks like to be honest i thought it would be a little bit deep and like you know dark when it comes to a brown shade but i kind of like how neutral it is on the skin but i think it's absolutely gorgeous on the lips and the next shade i do have for you guys is dose of colors chocolate wasted this shade y'all when it comes to, like that dark brown fall lip shade this shade is completely that it's just so dark and so deep and when you put it next to the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint, y'all can see a huge difference. So y'all can see this one's a little bit more neutral, whereas this one's a little bit more dark and just like deep. Now the next one I do have for you guys is from Smashbox and I do have their Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade out loud and this shade is like those orange shades that I think look so good on darker skin tones. It is just beautiful on the lips and this is what it looks like also. Very, very pretty. You can go ahead and add like a brown lip liner and put this in the center. Just don't even get me started. And of course I had to add Tootsie from Colored Rain and this shade y'all, like when it comes to like those purple 
deep vampy shades i tell everybody just go ahead and buy this one because it's all you need in your collection i haven't found a purple that looks this good you know swatch but at the same time it's very opaque it doesn't look patchy at all it's very hard to find like a nice dark purple lipstick on the lips because a lot of them out there are very patchy but with this one i just think it looks so good on the lips it lasts all day it's just a very very nice liquid lipstick and the last one i do have for you guys is anastasia beverly hills mod and this shade is very unique i'm not sure even how to describe it because it's just so different from a lot of shades out there but the best way to describe it is like a very like terracotta shade on the lips it has a little bit of orange and brown in there all mixed together and it just looks so good on the lips and honestly if you do have all these colors you don't need anything else out there because you're completely covered for the fall and winter time so i highly highly recommend these lipsticks you need them in your life i don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and buy them all right you guys so those were all my fall essential products i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and also let me know down below some of your favorites because i do want to pick up a couple items when it comes to fall time i love you know fall makeup and anything like that just let me know down below so with that being said make sure you like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one